Kelly Chang, and this is Bloomberg Technology. The U.S. House just passed a $788 billion spending bill that includes a plan to start funding a wall on the U.S.-Mexico border. This comes on the same day that the Secure Miles with All Resources and Technology Act, or SMART Act, was introduced by Texas Republican Congressman Will Hurd. It calls for a SMART wall that aims to use technology to secure the border. Joining us now from Capitol Hill to discuss, Representative Hurd himself. Uh, Congressman Hurd, thanks so much for joining us. So what is this bill, this spending bill passing, mean for the wall and your plan for a smart wall? Sure. The, the spending bill did a lot of other things than, than just uh, fund the wall, but the wall money was in it. Uh, this is the first step in the appropriations process. It's unlikely it will survive um, in the Senate, and so uh, the, the, the fight goes on. Uh, but what it does to my bill is nothing. We're going to continue to, to push um, talking about having a smart wall. Uh, people are frustrated because it's 2017 and we haven't secured the border, and we shouldn't be lo looking to a fourth century uh, solution to a 21st century problem. Problem. And the SMART Act, um, which talks about a smart wall, uses um, high technology sensors, LIDAR, radar, drones, in order to secure our border once and for all. And talk about the savings of, you know, that kind of technology versus sure. uh, the proposed technology. Sure. So, a, a, a based on this administration's budget, it's $24.5 million a mile. Um, if you use sensor technology, um, drones, you can do this for under half a million a mile. That's a $24 million difference, and it's more effective. It's 2017. We can deploy sensors that determines whether it's a bunny rabbit or a person is coming across the border. We can deploy a drone to have that track um, that, that threat until we can deploy our most important resource, our human capital, the men and women in Border Patrol to interdict that threat. Most of that process can be done with computer vision, uh, artificial intelligence, and machine learning, and it's a fraction of the cost uh, when it comes to this compared, compared to a wall. So we should be efficient, we should be effective, and we should be making sure the men and women that are putting themselves in harm's way have all the data they need in order to do their job. The bill draws on some insights from Oculus founder Palmer Lucky. Talk to us about their contributions. Well, th there's a number of folks that have uh, a great experience when it comes to consumer products and, and augmented reality and the understanding of the, of the different kinds of sensor technology that's available. And so being able to have uh, folks that have that kind of experience um, giving guidance is great. But I hope that, you know, a number of people actually ultimately try to compete uh, for this type of, for this type of, of opportunity uh, to making sure we're getting the right technology in people's hands. It's, it's crazy. There are many of these men and women in, in, in the Border Patrol, um, when they're patrolling the border, I, and I have 820 miles of the border in my district, sometimes their cell phones don't even work or their handheld radios don't even work. So, so these folks are blind. Um, and, and in 2017, we should be able to correct this problem. And this is what we're looking to do with this, with the smart wall and, and our smart act. Let's change the strategy because having a one-size-fits-all solution to border security is the wrong way. That's how we have been doing it. We have to change the strategy. Hey, I'm Congressman Will Hurd. I just want to say thanks for watching. Uh, click subscribe below if you want to get updates on new clips. And I'm interested to hear what you think about what you just saw. So leave us a comment.